Lesson number 22, the internet. By the end of this lesson, you should illustrate ability to search the web for specific information and identify web browsers as a tool to accessing web pages on the internet. By now, you should be familiar with how networks operate and their purpose. Your knowledge of networking is required in this lesson. We will discuss the internet, the world wide web and web browsers. Let's start by discussing the internet. The term internet is made up of two words, international and network. In short, it refers to international networks. The internet is simply a computer network that connects countries in the whole world. This network is made up of different communication media, computers and other devices. People are able to connect to social media platforms and chat with people from different parts of the world because of the internet. The internet also helps people who are in different locations to access and share files online. When dealing with this topic, one important thing you have to note is that there is a big difference between the internet and the World Wide Web or web. The internet is a large network of computers all connected together while the World Wide Web is a collection of web pages found on the internet. Web browsers use the internet to access the World Wide Web. You can connect to the internet through wired and wireless media. Internal networks and desktop computers use wired connections to connect to the internet, while most laptops, smartphones and tablets use wireless connections. In order to connect to the internet, the computer is connected to the router, which is a special type of switch. The router connects to internet service providers, ISP, using telephone lines. Examples of internet service providers in Zambia are Airtel, MTN, Liquid Telecoms, and Vodacom. Serial networks are also used to connect to the internet.
the web browser is an application software for accessing the World Wide Web. When a user requests a page from a particular website, the web browser gets the necessary content from a web server and then displays the page on the user's device. In short, web browsers are used to access and view websites. Web browsers are also used to download files. Examples of web browsers are Firefox, Safari, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. A search engine is a software system that is designed to carry out web searches. They search through websites and databases across the internet looking for information. Databases store data in tables. This makes it easier for information to be accessed. Search engines can search for information in form of documents, videos, images, slides and audio. Examples of search engines are Google, Bing, Yahoo, and MSN. Remember to use the following tips when searching for information through the search engine. 1. Use longer keyword phrases. 2. Use quotes for words that should be together. 3. Keep it simple. 4. Search for multiple words at once. 5. Use important words only. 6. Use descriptive words. Electronic mail or email is a system for sending messages to one or more recipients by an electronic device such as a computer using special software or a web-based service. A person can get an email account from an internet service provider or from an email service provider. Email services are used to create, send, receive and read emails. There are two types of email services. These are ISP-based and web-based email. Examples of ISP-based email services are Microsoft Outlook, Kmail, and Mozilla Thunderbolt. ISP-based email services come with an app through which you can access, create, and send your emails. Web-based email services are mostly accessed through web browsers. Gmail, Yahoo, GMX Mail, and iSwap Mail are examples of such services. Note that most email service providers provide both web-based and ISP-based email services.
in order for you to use email services you must sign up with an email service provider you are also required to create an account with a unique email address and a password your email address will have a username the art symbol and the domain name for example sangaclive at gmail.com in this email address sangaclive is a username and gmail.com is a domain name the username and the domain name are separated by the art symbol As we conclude the lesson, let's discuss the World Wide Web program known as Cloud Computing. This program is mainly used for backup storage. Cloud Computing is also used for the deployment of computing services. Examples of Cloud Computing programs are Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, and Google Drive. Summary. In this lesson, you learned about the Internet and the World Wide Web programs. You also learned that the Internet is made up of international networks, while the World Wide Web comprises of programs that run on the Internet. The programs include web browsers, email services, search engines, and cloud computing. Revision exercise. A. State the difference between the Internet and the World Wide Web. B. Define the following. 1. ISP-based email. 2. Web-based email. C. Explain how the following are used. 1. Search engines. 2. Web browsers.